Hello, guys and gals. It's me, Schlatt. Welcome to what? a new episode of the Summer Ordinary Podcast. Oh, you're a PNG. You're not Schlatt. It's me. <laughs> this guy's an NFT. No one you're like know. an NFT that we hire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the hired NFT. That's it. You're the island of uh, of crypto dudes who's like, yeah, the age of consent is whatever the mental oh. maturity is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, our producer. Oh, we're starting us. strong, strong this start, week, yeah. Strong start. <laughs> well, I gotta bring the heat. I gotta bring the heat. Strong you know why? Because you guys are a bunch of actual like degenerates who records at eleven in That's the morning. Dude, look at me. What are we all doing awake right now? I just woke up. I woke up 15 minutes ago. I woke up too. <laughs> I, I, I'm under the influence, so he's right. Like, I'm under, listen, I'm under the influence. Okay. I, I, I do drugs now because, like, I, I just, I want, well, I want to get up early, mm -hmm. right? I think everybody you do wants five to. five hour energy? I just do Dude. a line of this every morning. <laughs> it keeps me going. <laughs> I need a sponsorship before I'm going to start doing that. <laughs> But yeah, man, I've been doing five hour energy and also I gotta drive into work, man. I have an office. This is a this is like a production space. I don't uh I don't exactly just roll out of bed onto the into the into like the computer room. That's pretty cool. Kinda cringe, not gonna lie. This is what you gotta do. This is what you gotta do. I, I experimented so much with like, you know, my bed used to be right next to my computer. And so I would quite literally roll out of bed into uh into the gaming chair. And hold on. <laughs> oh my god, he's just straight down. Yeah. <laughs> this poor man. Oh my god. He's gotta do work today. He's gotta he's gotta like go on the SMP server and like do some Minecraft. Dude, I hope they let you back on the SMP server after you know joining us. <laughs> I'm still there, man. I'm still there. People are like, can we kick Schlatt from the Dream SMP? And I'm like, bro, I haven't logged in on my own accord in like over a year. Didn't you die on there or something? Yeah, I died. They wrote in that I had a heart attack. <laughs> I read that somewhere. Oh, that's see, that's a that is some nonsense, yeah. dude. See, this is why like this is why we have to have our own like Minecraft SMP server for all the mm -hmm. people that have been banished from the politically correct. <laughs> yeah, it'll just oh be like gosh. the underworld. If you die in the politically correct ones, you're born as an every day word. you'd get a Google document in the mail and it'd be like exactly what you had to do on the Dream SMP that day. And I opened that document that day and I was like, fuck. I'm being, no, I'm being written off. Yeah. That's that's such a good idea, though, Nox. It's like, we could just be the hell for everyone. Like, after the last bastion. <laughs> it would make us look better, hours. too. So we don't do Google Docs. We we go through twitlongers. Mm. <laughs> we strictly via Twitter. Your lore is based on how you've been canceled in the past. Dude, that shit that uh, Schlatt brought up, though, that's actually real audience, the Crypto Bro Island shit that they have. It is real. They're actually going to go to an island island once but that tweet that i saw like when you were like oh the fucking it's um it's mental maturity level i guess yeah. whatever that's like real though like isn't it i i wasn't like i wasn't having a fever dream when i saw that last night no I? they put it on someone was able to get that shit on archive.org and like you can just look at that official account tweeting that shit it's crazy oh dude this is the thing with crypto stuff like we always like criticize it and i'm like mm. i'm sure the technology is cool and all but like man the people behind it are just nuts <laughs> i know i know <laughs> have you guys ever just made an insane amount of money in crypto and then lost it immediately uh yeah i can't say I yeah a little yeah. bit yeah i mean not on the altcoin shit yeah, yeah. No. not like you get too Oofy cocky style. when it dude when it when it 500 x yes exactly. and then you're, you're like on the top of the world and you don't sell thousand x because you're like, it'll, yeah, it'll go up. It'll go up even more. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's a rug pull. Yeah. Uh, this isn't exactly what I thought it was. No, but they got they got something better than a rug pull now. If you 100x or 500x or 1,000x or whatever, they'll just take the money out of the whole liquidity pool shit. And you can't even like sell it. Like you'll yeah. be in there like, why am I getting an error message? Bro, yep. you can't switch. You're done. <laughs> it's over. In June, I, I had like $7,000 that I was just dicking around with when like the really like the crazy shit was happening with all the the shit coins it's still happening brother <laughs> just with the i know but like it, this was this it was pretty safe at this point like generally speaking everything yeah. had just kind of gone up and then it was right right as like all, all the bigger stuff that was kind of going viral on twitter was getting rug pulled mm -hmm. and squid game token no ass coin do you remember that one <laughs> oh, <laughs> ass coin. I, do, I, do I bought a bunch of coin. ass coin and then i made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in one night woke up it was at 70 grand and I was like, whatever, it'll just go back up and then lived my day and then went to bed woke up again. 
twelve thousand dollars made 250 grand and then lost it within a, a 48 hour period why the fuck wouldn't you cash out a 70 grand caleb i don't really care that much and i, I put in seven thousand so i was like i mean as long as i have more than that <laughs> i don't really fucking care yeah as, well, as long as you're <laughs> yeah. above that you've made profit tech i know but i you know 250k on ass coin that would it be was a, pretty crazy that'd be a success story I'd, I'd i'd share that on wall street bets all day i'd be like my buddy <laughs> My buddy's a quarter. My buddy's about to buy a Lamborghini yeah. on ass coin. <laughs> my buddy hodled ass coin. <laughs> he hodled ass coin for 48 hours and fucking lost everything. What's the coin that all the porn stars are doing? Come now Rocket. That they're selling NFT. Come Rocket. Come Rocket, yeah. I thought it was like Tits coin for a little Come bit. Rocket's but then I remember Tits coin was that scam that nah, was dude, like Tick all coin, about Tits coin is it doesn't fuck with porn stars. They're above that. The shit that Aiden Ross is yeah. doing, MILF token. I remember that one. That was hilarious. Yeah, but that was a blatant rug pull. Oh my dude, they're all blatant. they really true. You know are. the thing is funny. After after I've criticized and like everyone I know criticized them so much, we're still getting offers. Like, yeah, we're making a really enterprising coin called Anal Pus. Like, <laughs> just join up onto our thing. Or, we have a really great white paper, guys. I'm like, shit, okay. Yeah. But you know, speaking of dumb decisions, Schlatt, you come from a community of people that frankly don't understand basic laws. All right, over on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't explain that. Yeah. Well, listen, man. I took a two-year break because I was I was tired of it. It's a fucking wild west over there. Wait, that, it was great when it was a wild. It still west. is, though. It still is, bro. You can you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can stream a, a murder suicide. <laughs> okay. So basically, so basically, uh, people people on Twitch decided that. Uh, watching youtube videos wasn't enough any anymore obviously you know when you watch youtube videos you got to get the doordash you got to eat on camera and then when it's time to shit you just leave and the video keeps playing but that wasn't enough because there's apparently not enough youtube videos on the site no, so true. now no. you go to the streaming services and now you play netflix actual tv shows for days at a time what are you, I, what are, you gonna, what are they gonna sue you my, my favorite no. is the uh the sleeping the sleep stream yeah. meta where people will go to sleep on stream and like an entire season, like on Netflix <laughs> autoplay. Yeah. Like they they wake up, they, they <laughs> wake up, they're like, hey guys, what did yeah. I miss? Oh, like, no, 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 no. What, what happened? <laughs> What happened in the entire season of Naruto? Yeah, chat, chat's gonna fill me in. Just quick summary right there. This is transformative content because people wouldn't watch it without the dude sleeping in the corner, okay? Yeah. Well, I, dude, I was on like, I was on one day and this guy was like, I'm editing a video. I will not release my YouTube video until I'm done editing it. So I click on the little Twitch stream. He was like passed out and you got like National Geographic. Like, <laughs> today we're talking about landmines in the 1980s <laughs> during the Soviet era. I'm like, bro, you really have to put this shit on? Like, what the fuck? What do I care about? <laughs> Dude, the thing is, is that the the audience like actually watches it. Yeah, through they their actually stream. like are are invested yeah. in it. X X has like a hundred thousand people watching. Was it Hunter X Hunter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, dude, that was funny. So that was literally after like, okay, guys, the Master Chef meta is over. You can't like react to Fox News immediately. Yeah, because <laughs> Pokey, cause Pokey got banned live for watching yeah. Avatar. for watching Avatar. Right, that's a Viacom show. And then Hassan got the message from Fox saying you can't do Master Chef anymore. And then mm -hmm. X the same day is just like, yeah, fuck it, fuck it, dude. Hunter X Hunter. I don't even know what goes <laughs> through his mind, dude. Oh, the production company is ass about that. I know that production company. They don't. They will. They will nuke yeah. you from orbit on that one. I haven't made anime content in years. I still get copyright strikes for like my old videos because I started doing YouTube, making like anime reviews and stuff. Like those old private videos. Well, every once in a while, I'll get emails from claims and strikes and yeah, dude. Because YouTube actually has their shit right. together somewhat. somewhat, and like they have the, the protections in yeah. place. Well, they're they're the ones getting sued by Viacom. Exactly, of everyone exactly. Like, Fuck it. But now these companies see see people streaming with tens of thousands of people, uh, their own shows. Like what what fucking publisher or like what what in what galaxy is Viacom going to be like? Yeah. <laughs> You you have the Netflix subscription, which means yeah. one person can rebroadcast it to to fifty thousand other people. It's crazy to me. Uh, and at some point, you know, it was it was bound to happen. Do you think somebody's going to get sued? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I, I think I, th I think it probably will just wind up happening at some I point. Hope it does, but dude. until someone becomes a scapegoat, people are just going to keep pushing the boundaries. I'm excited to stream that. 
I want to live stream that part, the hearing. <laughs> yeah, they should. Like, they yeah. should they, the IRL court. streaming. The, the, <laughs> I'm in the jury. <laughs> it's like you got South Park, right? Then people are fight, like big companies fight like 500 million bucks on the table for like streaming rights on South Park, yeah. right? Like mm-hmm. any company will take it. So yeah. it's like people are like, oh, fuck big corporation. I'm like, okay, but the big corporation shilling out half a billion to the creator for the show just to stream it. Like not even like, yeah, that's not even like production money separately. Hunter Hunter is a funny example. Like XQC was watching Hunter Hunter. That was licensed originally by Crunchyroll for, um, for like the West. And it got, Crunchyroll got outbid by Netflix, who clearly wanted to license more. You don't think oh, yeah. Netflix is going to be like, okay, dude. Well, it's like, <laughs> here's the thing. Like, if somebody does it on Discord to, like, three or four people, like, they still treat that the same way as somebody with yeah, 100,000. Oh, yeah. Except now if you go to court, yeah, they're going to look at XCC. Know. It's like, that's 100,000 potential live viewers. Like, holy fuck, dude. You're getting, because that's like, that's not like an individual, like, oh, streaming to, like, their family. No, that's like a fucking rebroadcast. Or it's like another TV network yeah. taking the rights yeah. and just sending it over. It, like, literally, like, TV network numbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, crazy. When XQC was a kid and he put like his VHS tape in and it starts off with the anti piracy warning, you know, rebroadcasting. <laughs> He's just fun. like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Who cares? Well, I will download a car. <laughs> I have a, I came back to streaming and on, on my alt channel, I have Jay Schlatt, which I do a once a week yep. stream on. And then I have Schlatt, which is basically do whatever the fuck I want. No standards, no, no like expectation to do anything. I have been streaming video game high school, <clears throat> which we can talk about in a bit. But I just want to use it as an example. I streamed the first season, which is about two hours of content, and I had consistent viewership. Usually, you know, if you guys are familiar with streaming, usually yeah. like the first hours when the viewers accumulate, then you have a like a little peak or like a climax, and they kind of trail off as you keep yeah. going. Consistent viewership. So look oh, at that wow. Shit. Holy fuck. This is it's fuck. the average viewers. It just kept going up and up. And let me show you the stream I did the day before, which was Mario Kart. Uh like I was actually trying to stream. I was trying to put on a good show, but no, it peaks an hour in, and then people just trail off, uh, losing thousands and thousands of viewers. But watching someone else's content, that's that's where it's at. I think you can probably apply for affiliate now too. Yeah, yeah you think you're, you're, you're way above the threshold, my <laughs> you think man. You got the fifty <laughs> followers. Yeah. They're like average of three viewers. Yeah. No, nah, you yeah. can't. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, it's so it, how. The meta makes sense, actually, when you see that stat. Right? And it's so, how is any smaller streamer who's trying to make a living, who maybe doesn't exactly have the same means, uh, how are they going to look at these numbers and be like, yeah, I shouldn't do that. I'm going to take the high road while every other person is doing it. And this just just pushes Twitch in a a bad spot because you know shit's going to go down soon. It's like one thing, like, you know, I don't have, like, a Twitch presence at all because I don't really stream on the site. But I'm sure in, like, a month or whatever, I could, like, be a consistent streamer if I just kept telling my YouTube audience, like, hey, guys, I'm streaming right now. Mm-hmm. Head on over there. And it's, like, all of a sudden, like, I'm fucking up there in the discoverability. So, like, yeah. somebody that just starts off on Twitch, they're probably, like, reading their little handbook. It's, like, I got to make sure everything is licensed. I got to make sure everything is there. And then, like, fucking there, like, you start off on Twitch streaming. You know, you don't have, you have, like, a handful of viewers. And it's, like, you start off getting, like, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever whatever mm-hmm. the fuck your average is and then you're right it does fucking you hit your peak of like 70 viewers on a night of playing silent hill and it's like okay it's mm-hmm. tapering off but shit if you just watch a youtube video that's like chubby emu something interesting right i mean i i have yeah. the same yeah. experience like uh just this thursday i streamed on twitch i had like 2k viewers i was reacting to like youtube videos like documentary styles oh what's his name sunny v2 stuff because you know i like I like, yeah. I like making fun of some of his videos. Anyway, so I was watching his videos. I had like 2K viewers, and then I played a game, and it dropped to like 1,300. Yeah, man, no one cares about games anymore. No yeah, games are games. lame, bro. I get, I get the idea of like a watch party, yeah. <clears throat> yeah they just want to see their person react to content they would have already you know, reacted to. And it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, ah, dude. Do you ever feel you lost viewers, though, because you started to ban all the Minecraft stands from your chat for some reason? <laughs> like, what that was the a fuck? great Well, meme. dude, uh, I knew I had to... I That was a... That was something I just knew I had to do on the first stream back. I needed to make a bit of a splash, you know? I, I love how you, like, brought them on. It's like, just step outside, and then you have, like, a firing squad ready. Like, for- yeah, that is pretty funny. <laughs> Did you see some of the names? Oh, my God. List, I mean, for context. Oh, yeah. oh, for context, oh I, I had one of the nerds in my chat write a little script that, like, scraped all the Twitch usernames that had, like, was taken, not found in it. Like, all the Minecraft-related ones. And there were some fucking weird ones in there. It, like, Quackity makes me cum. Yeah shit like that it's like 
honestly might as well have them out of here. I just banned all of them live. Well, a lot of a lot of that I've just looked at. It's like Hannah loves Quackity. Harper loves Tommy C. I saw some casualties though too, dude. One guy uh, commented on Twitter that he said he said like, "Man, my name's Wilbur." And then he got banned <laughs> from, from your chat. <laughs> He's just fucking his name's Wilbur, dude. Uh, yeah. Sorry, man. It's for the greater good. It's for the greater good. That's all I got to say. Yeah, here's one. Like, local quackity simp has been permanently banned. <laughs> it's kind of weird, though. Like, there's this whole weird subculture of people that want to identify into this group. And they would rather their personality be part of this system than be an individual. And it's really scary. That's the world we live in. Like, think about it. We're all, like, locked inside. So it's, like, one of the weird things that I got, okay? So I got an email from, like, YouTube because they were, like, t they were congratulating me for being a Minecraft creator because I guess I uploaded, like, yeah. one video in, like, Don't 2021. Fuck, I get that email. <laughs> I, I mean, I got, it's, like, yes. it's like, one of them was, like, you contributed to Minecraft. I was, <laughs> like, oh, really? <laughs> so I look at the whole list and they're talking about Dream SMP in there. It's, like, this is the Game of Thrones for the younger generation. I, I have to, like, stop the email right there. I'm, like, all right, fuck me no but like it really is though it's kind of scary <laughs> but it really is there are views that there are videos that talk about the lore of the dream smp that have more views oh, yeah. than like actual tv shows than anything we could ever create and you see these you see tommy going live last year to like six hundred thousand concurrent viewers so crazy. and you're just like what are what am what are we doing wrong here yeah it's we're not we're not creating the hell SMP server. <laughs> Dick <laughs> SMP. We should do, honestly. We should do it for for disgraced dream SMP creators. That's it. <laughs> Once yeah. something bad happens, yeah. you just come on over to hell SMP. You get in a slot video. And Nux, Nux <laughs> writes you a little. <laughs> <laughs> No, if we, if we did the hell one, they'd like go into the netherworld or whatever, and it's all just like, it's all just fucking, it's all just squid games over there. One of us has to be like Satan and just like make people fucking do like obstacle courses and see who <laughs> fucking lives out and survives. We'd have like micro microtransactions just through et, like NFTs. Yeah. I feel like that would take over viewership though. That we'd like, you would unironically make great. that and it would be so much more like what, like, like, I'm not saying the SMP stuff isn't watchable, but I'm like. I'm over the age of like nine, so yeah, it'd be funny. You know, it'd definitely be funny. Yeah, you gotta play fucking Spleef all day. Minecraft survival games. See, like this is the thing with like Minecraft. It's, like it used to be like it used to be like this popular, and then like there was a period where people were like, "Oh, Grand Theft Auto Five exists. Let's just fucking." Mm -hmm. Actually, no. Now that I say that, have you guys ever seen GTA Five content on YouTube? Like what actually trends? Like the like mods and stuff. But it's the weird no, no, like no, 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 no. Not just the mods. stopping the train. Not the mods. train. <laughs> no, not even stopping the train. I was over at my fucking aunt's, like, and her two oh, kids, no. like, well, one of them's, like, really young. He's, like, SMP yeah. age. I swear to God, I walked in. I walked in. Dude, I. Age? Yeah. <laughs> I saw his, like, I saw his TV for a second. He was watching a YouTube video, and it was, like, just Spider Man and, like, Hulk. Like, fucking the Justice League fighting. And then I'm, like, looking at it, and I'm, like, oh, whatever. He's just watching some fucking Marvel stuff. And then I look again, I'm, like, wait, is that Los Santos? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, like, what's going Because I'm, like, looking, I'm, like, like, in my head, I play GTA so much. I'm, like, Rockford Plaza. What? What are you doing, kid? What are you watching? He's like, oh, it's a, and then I looked down this rabbit hole, and it's just Spider Man, like multiple colored like Avengers fighting it off in like Los Santos. I'm like, this is GTA Five content now. This That's is where we're next. It's the next evolution <laughs> of those weird ass live action versions of the superhero yep. videos. Elsa Spider Man. I, I feel it's like it's like that Elsa gay shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Like when back in the day when we had the fucking prank channels, we we're like, yep. "Well, we can't yep. do social experiments <laughs> now. Let's dress up like Spider Man and Elsa and exactly. finger each other." I it's guess so fucking weird. that's where it ended up shifting to. There was also that period of GTA Five content, and I covered it, and I have it archived on my channel. It's the part where they reenacted national tragedies. You know, it's like, "Oh boy, are you fucking remember? kidding me?" Oh, I'm not even joking. Oh cool. my god! So like, fucking, you would click on random videos and it'd be like, "JFK assassination, boys." Okay, recreated in GTA Five. I like that. Oh my god. That's cool. Can you link me? <laughs> That's hilarious. Schneor plays wipe out obstacles run challenge with all the superheroes. Yeah, GTA Five funny contest. Yeah, man, views. funny. If you if if someone if a creator makes videos with 
Spider-Man in it on a consistent basis, they are mm-hmm. very much so a creator that makes videos for children, like small baby children. Wow, you're just gonna do Jack Septicai like that? Wow. Oh, what the Franklin. fuck is Pre- that thumbnail? Speech. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> really, really like this that mod. Is worse than that is worse than my Jackbox thumbnails, bro. Dude, I know. what is this? <laughs> His description, really, really like this mod. You can try quite a few creative ways of assassinating the president. The Guys, president? Click, 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 <laughs> click, click, click I videos. hope to see click, more of these type click, of... Click that last video I sent in the chat. <laughs> I can't, I can't oh. even show that. <laughs> look at fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> it's an honor, no. bro. It's an honor. <laughs> look, read the comments, though. I love how the NPCs on the first hit were just like, oh, okay, that's cool or something. One of the com- top comments oh. is, thank you, Muda, for showing me this masterpiece <laughs> a year ago. You- this motherfucker has shown it to so many people. <laughs> You Yo. just link this to, to everybody yeah. you meet. <laughs> Do you yeah, absolutely. Uh. <laughs> he does it subconsciously. Umpi and I saw a nude yoga video. We opened the video, and the comment was "Thank you, Umpi or Nux or whatever for sending us oh, there." Like man. we got both. Yeah, that's like, a, that's the whole nude yoga trend. If YouTube ever takes you down for nudity and sexual guidelines, just remember there's like legit nude yoga no, nude yoga videos. What if care. we all? I mean, like that's what a creator needs to do. So, so like a lot of your a lot of your ladies on Twitch right they have it some of them have only fans okay and then they do the asmr stuff and then that feeds into it it's a funnel right it's a it's a perfect idea mm. what if it's a pipe yeah what like what if guys started doing naked yoga you know like i'm not saying there would be a huge audience for it but just hear me out that would cause a splash if if like you just did let's say for example muda <laughs> right if you just got a really good camera equipment rented out a studio <laughs> and then just got your dick and balls out why and don't then, I? Why don't I just get one of those YouTube spaces? They have true, yeah, drawn. and then just downward dog, right? Just that's how you start. Hey, guys, uh, <laughs> it's me, Muda. All right, that's <laughs> yeah, like really like cinematically filmed, like art house yeah. and shit. You know, that's the era of Twitch I kind of preferred. Like at least when like you had all the fucking like when you had all the yoga instructional videos and streams going yeah. on. It's less shameless. It's less shameless. Yes. They were putting themselves out. Even if Amaranth was on the hot tub every day, Dude. I'm like, she was putting herself Dude. out. She wasn't I slapping think, on a movie. I think movie. the hot tub stuff is less shameless than the this current uh, the meta of just watching TV. Well, I, th- I think honest. I just hate the fucking, like, absolute. Like, okay, so it's like, I made that one video where I'm, like, just shitting on, like, fucking the, the whole Twitch DMCA stuff. And I remember the comments, like, once the Twitch people start, like, reacting to the video, it's like, I can't believe you snitched on them. I'm like, yeah, because my one fucking video? Yeah. Because my one video really fucking made splashes, considering the actual streamer themselves fucking tweeted at Gordon Ramsay yeah, that was like, pretty, yeah. "Hey, you got did you guys watch my MasterChef stream?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm sure. Hey. I'm sure. Yeah, that wasn't more of a fucking self report yeah. than the other guy hey, laughing Gordon. at." You. Hey, Gordon, I've been watching your Fox show. <laughs> did you see the Did you see the clip of uh, for tens of thousands of people? Do you see the clip of uh, Gordon Ramsay going, "What the fuck yeah. is Twitch?" Do you yes, guys yeah. saw that clip. He finally figured it out. I have a theory as to why Gordon. Well, as to why uh, Master Chef just got a stri- got just got striked on Hassan's channel because they've been reacting to Master Chef for like a decade almost, right? Oh yeah, Trainwreck started that shit years ago, and honestly, I I was tuning into those streams. I was tuning into those streams. I it's it is kind of like a guilty pleasure. It is entertaining, like it's entertaining content. But I think Master Chef is working with Twitch. I think that he's there. He's working with. They're working with Twitch. They they want to make some sort of deal there to stream it because so many streamers have been doing it. I think it'd be smart. Like if I was one of the executives of like Fox or something, be like, okay, season like any season we're not airing, we could probably yeah. make that like a partnership with Twitch streamers. I'm like, sure, yeah, you can yeah, cover because like be cool. if I'm launching a new season of MasterChef, right, and all of a sudden the streamers made it trend like mm-hmm. crazy, that's not a bad thing to do. But the thing yeah. is, it's like. The, it's like no one from like XQC's production team or somebody or like anybody pitches that idea over to the exec, right? Like, cause you gotta, you gotta pitch the idea. Like if I was in that camp, I'd have my guys and be like, all right, maybe you should talk to like somebody over at Fox and be like, that'd be kind of a cool idea. You know, like maybe, <laughs> maybe test the waters. Oh yeah. I'm re- I'm rebroadcasting for the greater good guys. <laughs> Let's say that I had a hundred thousand viewers. Right. And I'm like, oh, let me just watch season two. You're not really broadcasting season. You're not rebroadcasting a reality show, but 
if I can help draw up attention, you know, mm -hmm. it, it works both sanctioned. ways. My viewership's going up. You got to know, you got to remember that, like, Twitch is owned by Amazon. Yeah, if Amazon <laughs> wanted to do something like that, they could easily absolutely make it happen. Yeah, yeah. easily, dude. I love Jeff. I, and that's the one thing, too. It's like, how the fuck do they, like, let you break the DMCA? <laughs> like, Jeff isn't worried a little bit that his investment could potentially land him into, like, lawsuits with Viacom. I think, I think their protection right now is because it kind of there's a law right now that's kind of like oh yeah the website itself is not responsible for the content oh, the safe that harbor users, provision yeah. yeah that that its users post which is the same thing that youtube does now which is why the strike system is so bad why uh, my friend mark like two weeks ago got 150 copyright strikes in a day Jeez, that's a lot ball. 150 dude yeah. i'm gonna fuck got nuked off the planet for that one and i don't know if he, he does he plan on being back in 2022 yeah he does he uh yeah. he got really stressed out by the whole like because it got pretty I big when i mentioned it to you and charlie you both made videos on it and uh even yeah. pewdiepie made a video on it so like he got that was really bullshit like he got freaked out claims. that it was so big and he just step down from the whole fight and he was like oh i'm just gonna keep making content yeah. yeah i mean when you go up against those big lawyers which reminds me it's like you have people like mark and you have like fucking ballsy dudes like xqc where it's like yeah let me rebroadcast the olympics oh fuck yeah, yeah, yeah olympics remember when he, when he was like oh dude i'm gonna sue him <laughs> do it please i i remember i tweeted about it because i'm like this shit really was stupid and his lawyer tweeted back at me like his lawyer dm'd me and it's like no that's misinformation he's counter claiming them i'm like Okay, I'm not a fucking. Wait, I'm not a. <laughs> think, I'm think, not a think, with think, your words. Use the right word. Right word. Can, I, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a beep. Okay, yeah. like did fucking. I, did I show you? The I know screenshot? what a counter claim. Did was. I show you the screenshot Team YouTube sent me for the Hassan episode where they time stepped every single time we used a game oh, yeah, word did, in the yeah. entire yeah, the they, entire. Are you podcast? didn't say that it. means yeah. I they watched it. They watched it. I messaged YouTube. Wow, I was like, yo, can you monetize this video? And it's not being promoted at all. Like 90% of the views <laughs> are from subs. And YouTube's like, mm -hmm. we'll get back to you. And they got back to me with like timestamps for every yeah. time a gamer word was used. Lol, dot, 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 I, I appreciate actually. that because that means they watched it. You get demonetized all the time. And then they, they just straight up will not provide you any evidence for why. Um, and then it's is it so funny that we have to like go on Twitter and complain mm -hmm. publicly oh if they yeah. want anything to happen? Stink. Like yeah. I just I I love having to type out a little tweet and then hope Fwiz or one yeah. of these guys sees it and then <laughs> and then I wind up acting like a little little like bitch because oh this one video that I uploaded isn't making as much money. After you complain like five or six times and they realize you're right, they follow you and then you just message them and they they do it privately. Fwiz DM'd me after I because I started I started a whole new channel for my vods. Um, because my old one, I used to play a shit ton of copyrighted music and stuff. And so I, I'd still be getting emails like every day of the content ID system, like finding something else. And basically, um, I assumed that, you know, because everything I uploaded would immediately turn yellow, that it was just like in some kind of blacklisted yeah. state. And so I just made a new VODs channel, um, mm -hmm. went through the whole rigmarole of getting it applied. YouTube has some weird ass policies for who can monetize now i had to send them a video of my face going like this what? so they could put it in it yeah dude i had to, i was i was so confused it has a site now if you want to get monetized on youtube you have to give them your fucking face that's, that's crazy oh i know why they do that actually i, I know exactly why they do this that channel, um, the some ordinary podcast channel we uh, just monetized it yeah huh. you sent their face <laughs> <laughs> someone me, someone's I'm in the sure. database i'm telling you right now Someone's in the database. That's crazy. And you I, have to I, you, you do that shit and then it got monetized after like a damn. week. And it was all it was all demonetized anyways. So it's like, why did I make the new fucking channel? And Dude. then I tweeted at YouTube and then Fwiz reached out directly to me, which is cool. Yeah. But it's like, why don't I have I've had millions of subscribers for years, bro. Why do I still have to complain yeah. on Twitter? Why don't I have a person I've been that I could just talk to? Yeah, guy. Mm -hmm. You got a guy. Once you hit a certain threshold, why isn't there someone that you could work with? I can probably link you with someone, honestly. I got a guy. You got a guy? I would love to. I got have a guy. guy. I've been I've been uploading for guy. ten years, so I got a guy. Jeez. Finally, in the last okay. six weeks, they gave me maybe a guy. It's, maybe you need maybe you need to be there for ten <laughs> yeah. years before they before they give you a guy. Yeah. He's he's made plenty of sniper wolf videos. So he's they love my videos. The they love thing. that. They love like the the. Uh, well, I probably shouldn't say that about my guy, but he's 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 a pretty cool guy. 
that works for YouTube. Mm. Did you see the whole like? I know Umpi covered it, but did we talk about it last week? Where like apparently Sniper oh. was the fucking wildest piece of drama I've ever seen. But like she ghosted. So yeah. apparently, oh yeah, yeah go ahead. She ghosted. <laughs> uh, so a little girl's di- literal dying wish was to uh, get to go in a FaceTime with Sniper Wolf, right? So somehow there was a connection between the little girl and the mom and uh, the No Jumper podcast, and the guy from the No Jumper podcast forget his name but he's he's adam yeah, adam 22 yeah. yeah yeah which is an interesting connection <laughs> he's doing yeah, exactly so it's like that's yeah. like wait that's a weird like that's triad. strange what the but he, <laughs> he reached out to sniper wolf and then they they got into dms and then uh there's like a long dm conversation but she kind of blew her off a couple times and was like uh claiming to be too busy or whatever and then like the little girl had yeah, to go to like, bed I'm at a certain busy, time and then posts on instagram eating cake yeah uh, by the way the girl did like, pass away two time. two days ago so like she like oh. so she it, it's really it's oh it's God. a bad look for old for old uh yeah. leah miss sniper wolf uh and she got pretty pretty hardcore roasted for it for good reason because it only takes you know 10 minutes to facetime oh, i was roasting her on stream because i i'd like straight up because like one person in the comments for my stream was like yeah but she's daily yeah, uploading i'm like uh uh-uh, sweetie yeah. let me let me show you oh, how the fucking... dude she just turns on the camera once a week <laughs> well because i because i showed her the glasses right i'm like yep. all right bring on the glasses here i'm like you see like you see the reflection she's she got google script. docs on <laughs> it's a script <laughs> It, it ain't no TikTok.com. That's Google. She, that's yeah, Google she's Docs. Not she's, a, she's on something else. She's not actually no, watching. Dude, she's it. not reacting. She's just reading a script. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like literally, it's like you sit down. It's like you know how people do like a sponsor read. Like they have their little like fucking yeah, yeah, thing, right? And it's like, oh, let me. That's all it is. It's like, okay, wow, oh my god. And then, and then she probably that's has crazy. like a minute of B roll in the video where she's like making those like thumbnails. Like I always say, yeah, yeah. Asmund Gold faces. Because <laughs> like it's like. like <laughs> I know for a fact that some of the Minecrafters, like the Kitty Kid Channel Minecrafters, do that. They have a whole team. Like, obviously, you know these guys like Joey yeah. have entire pro- right, right, production right. companies at this point. Um, yeah. I know for a fact that they have people that will make the map, record themselves going through the map, and then they just get a dock. They they actually do just get a dock and pretend to play it. You'll see videos of these guys like Preston. No offense to Preston, but like you'll see him like reacting. Like with his full hands and everything, and the game is still like, <laughs> and he's like, "Whoa, everybody! <laughs> Holy shit!" I, I, but like, <laughs> I, I just I hate seeing that though, because it's like, man, I feel like a dumbass. Because yeah. like every time fake. I want to do like a gameplay thing, it's like I, I make yeah, it like man. everything. I like the thing is like people like I remember Nux was like weirded out one time because he's like, "Moody, you edit and do everything yourself." I'm like, "Hell yeah, brother! Shit, I rip that fat bong and I do the whole mm. like the whole shebang." There's a, still a charm to that, and it's kind of lost on most people. I still work on most of my shit. I every now and then I'll have someone like cut together the clips, but I still very much enjoy the the part of that process of like putting your own coat of polish on it and shit so it's also one of those things where like i think we can immediately identify when like somebody's doing that versus when they don't do that right and it's just like i that's why like i never watch a channel where it's like oh they're not even giving a shit about it they're not even like yeah, covering same. their like uh, how hard is it for you to watch like 10 minutes of tiktok and like fuck off <laughs> yeah i mean yeah i agree you know quibble cop was telling me he's trying to he's working with people to develop like an ai software to actually make content without like a conscious mind behind it. I'm sure like, that'll work. So he has a channel <sighs> called Blue, B L O O. It's like this weird VTuber thing. That's shit from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. <laughs> it, it, it looks oh like God. it, but it's like, it's just self generate. Like, look up Blue. Wait, oh my God, it's got, oh my yeah, God, it's got Blue? a quarter of a million yeah. subscribers. Yeah, so it. this is Quebble Cops. AI, this is not a, a human that's reacting and playing these games. This channel is completely like... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just hire someone who doesn't do anything on YouTube, make them film it, uh, like film them, give them a VTuber suit, and then just say that I created an AI. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, I'm going like, to do that. This is, if you read the titles, God Sonic versus Dr. Eggman versus Sonic Flash in GTA 5. Yeah, it's just trying to hit the key points. He's fucking DARPA, bro. Is this like really? No, I don't know if it's fully AI, Nux. Is it like in multiplayer, like playing the game? Yeah. Like, is yeah. It... No, is, are you, you sure it's not like a me. sweatshop? You think are you sure it's yeah, not like some sweatshop all, in like Calcutta? That's what I was alluding to. I know. If he had a sweatshop I, or two. I know that some YouTubers, a lot of the kid YouTubers have, uh, tried like making new channels from scratch and like actually hiring people to be the star oh, yeah, of the dude. channel like on a salary Roblox. position and shit people do that all the time and then the idea is that you you know you collaborate with them and, dude, and that, kind of the, build that the up point of child exploitation is <clears throat> 
in like Roblox and like GTA and Minecraft. That's pretty fucking high. <laughs> now that I'm thinking, you have things like Hololive, like the big VTuber group in uh, in Japan. They they're all characters. Like they'll have auditions and they'll think that they find someone with talent and then they'll give them a personality and tell them that okay, wow. so this is your personality. This is how you have to. Uh, obviously, they're still human so they're still going to have their own personalities but like this is your yeah. lore these are things like you have to talk about and do and they've developed this weird relationship between all these streamers that are collabing and they're following this very corporate envelope i feel like we've been infiltrated we're, we've been infiltrated by body snatchers in our community like what the fuck <laughs> hey <laughs> it's like scary there's an shit. imposter among us guys I don't know. Cor- corporations are plenty of imposters. I hate corporations. Anybody so want to play Among Us? I don't know. With the with the way they thing. with the way that you guys have made it sound, I feel like we're the fucking like last bastion at this we're point. We're doing like, something wrong. I I, I feel I, when I hear about shit like that, I'm like, God damn! Like, it could be so easy for us. All we have to do is just offload every single aspect of the job. People still find success doing it. You're part of OTK. Yeah. I think OTK is great yeah. as far as like orgs oh, because. Thank you. They, they have a lot of people that are talented and, and you know, good personalities. And they don't tell them what they have to do. They just be themselves. Mm. And they give them the ability to be themselves with a higher production value and stuff. So I think OTK mm-hmm. is amazing. It's uh, it's what every oh, I, org I should aspire yeah. to be. Well, it's, it's also one of those things where it's like when you're running an organization and you're bringing all these people together that have established fan bases, it's like, why would you then, like, try to get them to change you know what no. brought them and, all their fame anyways like that's so stupid exactly. <laughs> and that's the thing like we've walked on so many uh huge money deals with with companies who like want us to do xyz and it's just like so far ahead of what we uh what we actually do that uh that we've just turned it down um it's you know i i, I like what i'm able to do here um i'm ob- obviously i own the fucking thing so i do <laughs> so i do biased. kind of call the shots i i am a little biased i am a little biased yeah. but yeah otk it's like i'm allowed people. to do what i want also i'm the ceo <laughs> yeah i own the fucking company it's me miss kiff asma gold a bunch of bunch of streamers mainly streamers uh and i run the youtube side of things that make most of the videos over here oh. and uh yeah we're doing good cool. speaking of asmund gold he's might be the one few like twitch creators that i've actually seen that still play a video game like fucking <laughs> like, right True. i jump onto his thing which by the way i have no idea how that motherfucker plays world of still. warcraft because every time i go onto his streams it looks like a fucking excel spreadsheet and then like there's a game somewhere <laughs> in there <laughs> Got like 10 million yep. add-ons in it i'm like yep. bro what the fuck are you doing anymore? i've never understood the appeal but i respect them so goddamn much for for continuing to do that shit for a decade should, i love like, asmongol he seems cool like an dude. extremely nice guy he's so i have nothing but but like praise to give to the guy he is so yeah. well spoken like he just he just fucking gets it he's got the passion in the mmo world and that's like something appreciated i mean like i i like to think some i i get that vibe too because it's like unless it's like the game that's the flavor of the month like fucking i look i one thing i've learned about youtube is like if you chase the viewership like you chase the fucking dragon youtube will turn you into a literal crack mm-hmm. addict you know Absolutely. i'm not saying that i was like like no no no. because i was Literally. watching this i was watching this doc on crack right like on netflix it was like <laughs> oh, yeah. it was amazing <laughs> literally crack no like i was on netflix and it was like this crack documentary i'm like oh shit that looks exciting let's click on that and mm-hmm. like they're right because they were talking about like how when people do crack for the first time like they get like their insane mm-hmm. high and the only reason they get addicted to it is because they're trying to relive what they first experienced. So it's like with, with YouTube, right? Like people, like they look at that one mm-hmm. out of 10 on the upload and they're like, oh, fuck, dude, I'm Dick getting Carter, fireworks come. on the screen. Like, I'm excited. Yeah, right? It's like, I must have done something amazing. And it's like, there there's a period where like everyone I talk to, it's like, I want to get the one out of 10 again. I, I want to mm-hmm. get the one out of 10. And YouTube mm-hmm. distinctly tells you, hey, you need to keep doing yeah. this. And, right. It's, if, yeah. You yeah. Wanna, if you want to keep your, your yeah. living, you know? <laughs> yeah. And the thing I learned about YouTube, it's like, I get thrown in and out of the algorithm so much that i just feel like some like cheap hooker that's like fucking oh, yeah, you do fucks on the side you know like i'll say mm-hmm. like i'll give you guys an example here so like november my channel was like fucking killing it you know like i was doing amazing i was like peaking again and december was like oh shit every video nine out of ten same. ten out of ten same, ten exactly out of ten, ten out of and i was like like it, it, if this was like five six years ago and i was like more like not versed in the system i would have probably been like wow i'm dying i'm dead i'm no one watches me anymore mm-hmm. yeah and then like january every 
everybody was like one out of one, one out of ten, one out of ten, one out of ten. Dude, my nine out of ten video yesterday was like fucking killing it. Like YouTube was like, trend that bitch. We don't care. That's a ten out of ten. We might not trend. You know, I was like, dude, (laughs) see, that's like that's the thing about YouTube and like really any platform because it's like no one knows how these like back end machine learning algos work. And it's like some days you're excess, some days you're not. So I I just learned that like. I, I know that no matter what I upload, like it'll fucking it'll, it'll go over six figure viewership. So it doesn't really matter to me. Like I could literally upload me playing fucking, you know, Pokemon trading card game on the Game Boy Color and just like shit on the AI and it, it'll work. It's like that's where I think the best content comes out from, because now it's like you go on YouTube and it's like everyone looks at what works. It's like, oh, somebody uploaded this like one trending type of video. So now everyone must copy that video. And then the whole platform gets yeah. saturated. Tom Scott made a video. This video has X amount of views, yeah. and like in yep. the title, and it followed the view count. And then, like within the next week, like twenty other channels did the exact same thing. I love YouTube, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I love YouTube. It's like it's like it's like one person like strikes success, and everyone tries to like fucking leech off of it to some extent. And it's like no one wins no. in that case. Like every time you see somebody do it, nobody wins because it's like anybody that is like the first jump on something, they're always what people want to jump and watch to. And it's like everyone else, they're they're, they're just kind of like they're kind of like around their orbiting. Like they're they're kind of like you know yeah. the, the off brand version, if you will. You know, right? nobody mm-hmm. wants that. And the, the the thing about it, too, it's like when you do that on YouTube or Twitch or anything, it's like it's so transparent. And it's like if you want to build an actual community, like I, I know that I would never watch a creator that's like that fucking, you know, like transparent about their content and how much they don't give a fuck. Like I would rather watch like the no name Andy, like, you know, just uploading whatever they feel like. Because it's like, oh, OK, I get a, like a genuine connection. I get like a genuine like idea of what this guy wants. Right. Which, again, goes to Asmongold. Like, I never gave a shit about World of Warcraft, like, to the extent that some people do. But then, like, you know, you click on the guy's video and it's like, oh, wow, he, like, really talks about World of Warcraft. Like, and that's yeah, his fucking His fucking eyebrows start going and then you're like, oh, dude, <laughs> now he's it's in, real. Bro. He's fucking, mm. he's logged in. Like, everyone <laughs> makes these videos. It's like, World of Warcraft versus Final Fantasy fourteen. Main differences, the map graphics sound mm. and i'm like oh wow congratulations <laughs> yeah. we read a listicle today and you go to asmund gold and it's like well i calculated the dps numbers between one mob and the other and in my excel spreadsheet you can look at this graph i'm like all right fuck me <laughs> okay yeah. i guess i'm in for a bill nye video today <laughs> Shit, yeah. didn't expect this that, that's a healthy way of looking at like it's yeah it's a good way of looking at yeah. like statistics and how you mm-hmm. how you consume content Muda, was there ever, was there ever like did you reach a th- threshold where you're like all right i'm happy now like i understand that the views are going to come and go and uh you just kind of like accepted that uh yeah there was it was probably when i was around at like i don't know was it like for me it wasn't like it's not a job type of thing but i was happy at my growth at around like i would say 200 300 thousand subscribers because i already had like a community that i really liked i think Mm -hmm. honestly the larger that the channel had gotten the less i could like do you know certain things because it's like when you have that like a bit of the spotlight on you it's hard to like you know cover some edgier things and like you know yeah of course because yeah, you, you got to stay in your in that lane that you yeah. carved out for yourself you blew up faster than any of us like by far like i think within the yeah. a year i went from haven't heard of you to have watched all your videos kind of thing <laughs> and i hate Damn. minecraft <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate you know, but, like, minecraft too. i think you're just it, was it the YouTube Shorts? I had a whole theory that some people blew up because YouTube Shorts came out, and you you're very clippable. Like you have a lot of very clippable moments. I hunt for the clips, dude. I I do a lot of like physical comedy whenever I'm on a show or even like a podcast. Like even on my own podcast, Chuckle Sandwich, I'm always like trying to get like the 15 second tidbit because I know that even if I don't post it on my clip channel, then someone else will. Someone's going to do it. Yeah. Someone's going to fucking do it. That's why I'm always happy with like stream highlights. Cause people will take like stream highlights where I just like, cause on stream, like if I look up at a scam, Oh man, I will shit on that thing for like a good 20 <laughs> minutes. And it's yeah, just I, like the hardcore roasting and people just yeah, upload man. it. I used to be of that mindset of like, no, well don't post my own fucking content. Let me do yeah. it. But at this, at, like at this point, it's like, well, I, I am so, I already have like five YouTube channels, man. Like I, I, I'm already at my fucking limit. Like do whatever you want. It only helps me. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's like, there was this whole like clips channel where it's like streams, like Nux thought that it was me running it. I was like, Mm-mm. 
Oh, a couple of those. It's like <laughs> I have no clue. Like you can it monitor. It's called some ordinary clips. Okay, so why I, I, I remember I came I across that. I was like, yep. I was like, you just you do what you do, baby. And some of those videos they pop off like the clips, and it's like at the end of the day, like it all comes back. So it's it's like it it is what it is. Of course. And hey, yeah. I get a better return on investment than like somebody like let's say Logan Paul, you know, who fucking buys a three point five million dollar box of Pokemon. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's a bad investment. I had to, I had to segue to that shit because it was the funniest thing that I've ever read. I was like, immediately and like, I don't think it was a three point five million dollar box. But there's a there was like an IGN article that it was fake. Yeah, that was like the allegation. It's like not necessarily yeah. confirmed. So he apparently flew to Chicago or whatever to yeah. speak to the guy. They're insured too, so I think he's good. But it definitely makes a good headline. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, I just think <laughs> the it's... The box is yeah, insured? Dude. Oh, my well, God. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm sure when he bought though. it for, like... I don't think he bought it for $3.5 mm. I think that's... I think it's the old, click, the old headline type deal. Yeah, Seems like $3.5 million for, like, cardboard. Like the YouTube title, you know? Like, the YouTube title's not, never completely accurate. <laughs> I, I hope it ends up being fake, though. That, that'll that be, like, the fucking greatest, like, meltdown I'll see on the internet. Like, if it's fake. <laughs> Is like, he gonna live stream it? <laughs> like, I think so. It? He better, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I think that's manufactured a shit from Logan Paul. Like, I'm gonna think that, like... Because there's no way a normal person is buying $3.5 million worth of Pokemon no. cards. Even if you had the best sponsorships and you knew you were making yeah. money, $3.5 million on a video, on a series, yeah, I'm good. that's, like... Mr. Beast isn't even fucking cracking that, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like Logan Paul's like, I have this like one weird box that I bought off eBay or some shit for three and a half milli. All right. And now even if I stream it, I'm not, dude, you can't, you won't even cross like a million. <laughs> like you yeah. won't even get to that on a stream. Fuck your sponsorships. And then like, he's going to go up there. He's going to show the, and, and it's all manufactured. Cause if you think about it, like even if the cards are fake, if I was Logan Paul, I wish the fucking cards yeah. were fake. Cause like if the cards are fake, yeah, that's like fucking that's three point. videos. I'm yeah. like, I could you like cry. I could like run an entire. Yeah, exactly. I could be like, guys, I got scammed for three point five million. Buy my new like, drink. All my punks are gone. <laughs> yeah, I just sell my monkeys. All my apes. <laughs> Dude, people have spent too much money on that stuff, man. Like on the the more and more that it happens, the less and less I f I understand it. I just don't get it. Buy ape. It's a, it's like. Do you see that one girl with the fart jar? Oh, yeah, she's too? selling them like, as NFTs. She's like, a fucking grifter, she's bro. She's selling... That's what all this. I feel like her fart jars are worth more than the monkey NFT. I tried I buying one of those fart jars for video. <laughs> I, I have a video that I have for the fart jar. I'm, I'm a little late on the party, but, like, I want to jump into it because my video is all about, like, literal physics. Like, I literally sat down and did, like, a thermodynamics calculation of, like, how the fart jar just could not... Like, you're literally getting scammed because if you buy, like, a fart in a jar, temperature differences and, like imagine if the farts flown across the mm -hmm. country right like it's like like it, it, it goes in a bone <laughs> okay the literal <laughs> altitude changes would like screw up like oh. the fart would escape the jar because they're slippage they're yeah, seepage yeah. from the Th this is coming from the guy that didn't know a cucumber was a pickle okay but this she's is... dark she's not she's not like she's not vacuum mm -hmm. sealing these things you know they're this not isn't like and there's also no grade. there's no insurance true yeah there's no insurance no on insurance. it either like Fuck. no one is like if you're gonna buy i've heard these fart jars are like a thousand bucks a pop like, first off, like, if you pay a thousand bucks for a fart, you're already a fucking dipshit. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Like, there's no, there's no easy way to put it. Okay. Like you're, I, uh, I will tell you one thing though. Uh, when I was a kid, one time I farted into a Gatorade bottle, locked it up and then smelled it like six weeks later. Was it there? No doubt, dude. No fucking doubt, bro. <laughs> I almost threw up. Well, no, that's, okay, that's what I'm saying. Gatorade bottle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you take it on an I airplane? Did, well, that's Gatorade bottle oh, versus mason jar. True. It's true. Oh, it's true. Yeah. You, no, it's did you like? Fair. Did you like super oh, yeah. tight? Yeah, the, the Gatorade like, bottle. Back then, yeah. you were like, I'm gonna make sure this does not escape yeah. whatsoever. It was a genie of the bottle. Gatorade as well, and it, uh, I remember it so clearly, man. I remember it so clearly. But like, she's selling the fart jars. And she made like I don't believe that she made two hundred fucking thousand dollars off the fart jar. I need That's to see some goddamn like tax receipts. Now, I, honestly, I w I read that article and I was like, okay, she w she like ate beans. What was she even beans eating? And, yeah. beans, beans and wow. Like, okay, yeah. wow. She eats beans and then she goes to the hospital. What are you going to the hospital for beans for, bro? You just have you just have a 
a yeah, tummy gas. Oh yeah. I, I, I call my dad up and I'm like, Dad, like I had to explain this whole story to him. Like, so dad, there's like this one girl and she's been like selling farts. <laughs> and like he had like the longest pause ever. He's like, wait a minute, you gotta give me a second, son. Hold on, what? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, can she go to the hospital for farting too much? And like gas in her belly. My dad's like yeah, my dad's like she's probably got like really bad like gas. That's yeah, it. She, I was like, why yeah, are you? Asking? There's nothing wrong with her. This is not. Yeah. It's a non-story. Well, because she thought she was. Yeah, she a thought it was the Dream S and P Schlatt arc type scenario where mm-hmm. she's fucking. She got the yeah. Google Doc. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> she, is this the same she, thing? She was reading the. T- <laughs> she was reading the twit longer <laughs> on that one. But like, but that that's the thing. Like, I saw that. I'm like, okay, first off, okay, it's a nice way for her to gain like a bit more relevancy after like 90 Day Fiance thing. But it's also like two hundred thousand dollars off making farts, and apparently, like, what she made like fifty k in a week. I'm like, yeah. see, I don't buy that. Like, I don't buy like anybody's out there buying the farts. I feel like that's like such a clickbait like thing. Because this, I, I'm done with the internet, and, like believing these like money mm-hmm. stories from like fucking all this. Because it's like anytime somebody tells me I made like two million on OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, show me the tax receipts, show me the fucking tax filing, okay? Like, I could just say I made six million dollars in a yeah, fucking I made ten month. million. There's no proof. Monkey, you know. Last week. Right. Yeah, like at least with the monkey you can like kind of verify the the value of it on the whole chain. Oh, I was talking whatever, about a real monkey. Right? Like you can just say oh, you're renting like, it out. Oh, you made 10 million <laughs> yeah, on real and stuff. <laughs> that's a that, that's thinking yeah. right there. <laughs> but like I don't she's think any of these, us like, made as show. much on monkeys as Schlatt. Physical monkeys. JPEG oh, dude, monkeys. true. You got that giant ball no, monkey, no, bro. No, I lost money. I, no, <laughs> Wait, don't actually, even get started. You, I you, lost you money on like monkeys. How much did that video cost? Video series merch campaign. I lost monkeys. No, I lost money on them. I so I I found this image a while ago of this monkey in the in, in just some zoo, just some zoo, and he's and he's just he's just relaxing. Mm-hmm. He's got his leg kicked up, and under <laughs> his under his leg is the fattest fucking nuts ball bag i'd ever seen in my entire life yeah it's a ball bag. Yeah. yeah it really is motherfuckers going to the bowling alley with those yeah. <laughs> and bro i would see this thing like every other day i started sending to it like i just at mr beast and just like control v and paste it to him <laughs> i just send mr beast shit on twitter publicly and and like every day it'd come up and then someone sent me once while i was on a podcast one of the one of the members linked an image of 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 like a like it, it looked almost like a statue of it and i was like Bruh. and it was blue yeah it was it was brass it was like all shiny and reflective but it was blue and i couldn't like believe it was a real thing the photo honestly it looked fake it looked fake so i didn't believe it i was like oh guy yeah dude did it in blender or something but then i started seeing more and more images of this blue statue and it was always in the same spot and it turns yeah. out there's a, there's a place in Prague, in the Czech Republic, where an artist who was equally as obsessed with this one image of oh god, Jesus <laughs> who did that, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? An, an artist that was equally as obsessed okay, with this wait, fucking oh, image god. decided to dedicate years of his life to make a huge a huge bust of him. And there was a smaller one, and there was a, there was like these tiny little ceramic ones, and it was and it was it was selling all of them. You can see the biggest statue you can see on Google satellite view. Like if no you way! Scroll, I bet I could do it right what? now. What? I absolutely I could do it right I, now. I let me to, let me uh, queue yeah, up. Yeah, share that with us. The f- it's hilarious that this exists, but I think from a marketing standpoint, you manufactured such a great meme and story out of it. Yeah. I think you need to own yeah. the copyright of this so fucking monkey, bro. Can you see this? Can you see if this? You yes. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're seeing it. Yeah, all right. It's in the Czech Republic somewhere, so I just oh, have to go. find this. I have to find Prague. Okay. okay. Let me I switch it to... Uh, oh, my God. I've been to Prague, it. and I didn't know there was a monkey's balls statue there. Oh, bro. You waste. don't even want to know. I think he's. Uh, I think he's, like, right around here. Wait, hold on. I need to go to Prague. I'm going to Prague. Uh, I'm on my way now. Oh, I'm rusty. I'm so Wait, rusty. Wait, there's a sex machines like museum here. right there. You just passed. I didn't know that was a thing. <gasps> no, they updated it. Fuck. He's Wait, right. He used to be right know. here. He used to be right here. Wait, how do you go back in time? Hack into Google. You have to like put go to Street View, and you can probably right. change some of the years. So like, drop a pin. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and okay. now I do. And uh, oh, I go back yep. in time. 
late 2017 perhaps fuck i swear to god if this is just a dream <laughs> Yeah, oh, are, you Mandela, are you Mandela affecting oh us? Oh my god! Where the this fuck? could be the craziest Mandela effect I've ever Wait, witnessed. Dude, I swear, <laughs> I swear to God, he was right there. <laughs> he was right there. I swear to God, guys, you gotta believe me. <laughs> I believe it's Baron Stain Bears. Bro, he was right there. He was right there. This huge monkey. It's called King Kong Balls, and he was yeah. You guys, you guys see the flag? The flagpole's right there. He is what? right here. It's a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. There are photos of, of people who went to see this guy and they're like jerking his little <laughs> cock off and shit. It's so funny. Wait, I just noticed like, so, you're not verified on Twitter. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and so he had a he had a smaller version 000. that comes this. yeah, that comes on uh that comes on a table. And now Buddha, it's funny you say that you're gonna buy it because I actually I actually bought it. <laughs> I was Wait, the you guy have who purchased this, this yeah, thing. I, I, it, it, it is it is sitting in my garage. I'm still trying to find a specialty moving company oh that will get God. this thing through the door. Like you, you need How four much people at least. It's four hundred pounds. It's fuck. solid, solid bread. Dude, that is incredible. I just found it. I just found another sculpture actually for sixty nine thousand dollars. Oh yeah, that was the one. That was the one I I didn't raise enough money to buy. <laughs> I was gonna oh. buy it though. So basically, the the pitch was that I launch merch, and uh, and fund the balls. all the merch funds it. Fund the balls exactly. Mm -hmm. And we made enough money. I bought the small. I bought a couple smaller ones. I bought a twelve hundred dollar one, like a, a nine thousand dollar one, and then that ninety five thousand mm. dollar one. And it just got here like a month ago, like early That's December. Here, sweet, dude. Dude, King Kong what? balls. Here it is. That's there pretty gangster. Know, what the fuck? Just sitting in my garage. It is the lo oh god. I can't believe Beautiful. you spent almost a hundred oh, grand a on that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Buy that shit. That is amazing. What that's well, like hey, a wait, 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 if you'd have sent that picture to YouTube, they would have monetized your channel, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should have sent him just a video of the fucking monkey's head. Yeah, you should you should have done the monkey's head for the face verification. <laughs> his balls. Just put your phone down in his fucking ball sack. <laughs> Just hold the camera yeah. around. Check him. this out. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. me, dude. Just like that. See, that, that, that's like the ultimate flex. So, like, people are out there buying like two hundred thousand dollars JPEGs of monkeys. You've literally got yeah, the monkey man. king. I Kong bought balls. the fucking real one. Uh, I bought the real one. How much would Gary V bid on that? You think? Oh, Gary V would would bid. I I tell him five dollars, and then he'd 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 wrangle me down to three. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd make it, and then he post a TikTok yeah. about it. Oh, I, I just love that one out tweet. There selling monkey balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to get that like tweet just like fucking up there. Like I want to make this entire. I I want to make this whole wall. I want to make this whole wall in my house just like fucking bad tweets. Like I just want to like get bad tweets from everyone and just mm -hmm. like have it wallpapered all over. So every time I look around, I'm like, at least I didn't post that online. <laughs> You guys want to know something funny though? The yeah. day I did that shit, the day the the statue, like the 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 first video release, and I dropped the merch and everything, the artist reached out to me, and what does he say, other than, "I've been thinking about these NFT things." Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just like, "No, nah, man, I I'm not gonna join you in on that." But the statues are cool. I mean, even. I got. Let me show you the box that this fucking thing came in. <laughs> God damn, this is fucking amazing. Oh, I got, it's under my Christmas tree. And he just walks away, and we see like biohazard material barrel of Teddy in it's the huge. Boat. <laughs> it is. It is like. It is like forty pounds. I swear to God, you could. I can't even curl this thing. Solid wow. brass, solid brass, Holy and the way shit. it was packaged was just so beautiful. Like it comes in this. In this. In oh my god beautiful black box it has a like it slides open like in like you're buying a new this iPhone. is like fucking <laughs> like yogurt merch from space balls yeah and you pull it down and there what he was just in there and it was such a cool experience yeah, i wish i made the graphic cards look that good when you're unpacking them shit so much cooler than like any fucking jpeg or anything like that you can buy and like it just it it made me actually appreciate Real art, art. yeah, because <laughs> yeah, like now I'm like, oh, well, I want to buy more shit like this. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to top that. Not, not yeah. now. I know why people fucking spend the money, yeah, right? But now but I know why people thing. used to like, like, be patrons. 
in yeah. the in the Renaissance, like people used to just fund, like, yeah, you can live. I'll just pay you to make shit for me. Take that to Las Vegas. Take that to Pawn Stars. You'll be on an episode for oh, sure. Dude, I... Do you realize how funny <laughs> that'd be? <laughs> Look what I got, guys. That would be great. King Kong balls. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll like whittle that down to like oh, i'll give you 350 for it <laughs> and then i'm like no nah, man i i think you got a buddy that yeah, knows yeah, yeah. call your guy call your monkey ball guy see like Chumley that's more valuable in. to me than like that's more valuable to me Chumley. than like some of the other shit that the investor anything that like where investor bros jump into something and i'm speaking out of this because like this is like my living now like this is all i do for a living like just fucking like snowball cash but it's like <laughs> So I'm surrounded by like real life investor bros all the time, you know, like people who like pretend to be like want to be investors. Like they're like, yeah, I'm buying this fucking like um, crypto punk and I'm about to be like a fucking multi billionaire. And like, I'm just like, dude, I, I just put money in land, you know, like the tried and true old fashioned way. S&P 500. Like, well, it's, every- just so, it, it, it's funny to me how like people who are in this great situation with YouTube and stuff mm-hmm. who have consistent money and like good money will will gamble it yeah like all you have to do bro if you want to be comfortable is just invest it a little a little more wisely and then you'll be it's sad. easy too like you won't yeah. even have to worry about the 10 out of 10s anymore yeah. it that's doesn't even like it's not even hard that's the that's the craziest part oh no, it's, it's not. genuinely not even it hard it really isn't look guys look up s p 500 annual rate yeah. of return it's like 10 percent. and whatever you guys do do not go into the options side of the world just stay far away from that shit just stay right into like just buy, just buy the, just buy the S and P. You're absolutely right, S and P five hundred. But like on the whole investor bro side of thing, it's like now I'm like surrounded by all these people who like think because they bought GameStop once, it's like oh they're fucking up there, and I'm like, I'm like no, no you're not. Like that you you gambled on a meme and succeeded that way, and then like you start to see like this investor culture, this like crazy stuff based around like crypto coins and like NFT shit, and then it's like. I keep having to try to explain, though. I'm like, these things aren't worth something simply because you, like, hype them up on the internet. Like, fucking retro games, right? Like, I collect a shit ton of, like, retro games, or at least I used to, because, like, yeah. you know, I, I like I like playing some of these games, like, having them, especially on, like, PlayStation 2 and shit, and, like, you know, PlayStation 1. And the reason why I had to stop is because it legitimately started getting expensive. And it's not to say, like, I had an issue, like, buying some of those expensive games. It's just, like, I don't... I'm not going to pay like 300 fucking dollars for like a copy of Final Fantasy 7, okay? Just be- I know how many copies of that game were fucking yeah. made. I ain't paying 700 or like whatever fucking amount of cash for your sealed like number 1 copy. And like you look at these things like Super Mario Brothers on the NES and it's like the original number 1 version, the 9.9 graded and it's like 2 million dollars for the card. I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck is going on in this market?" Like, and then you look at it, it's like it's all hijacked by like these investor types cuz now they like buy the cart and they sell the cart like they fractionally sell it. So it's like you've literally got 30 people sharing ownership of like one cartridge. Yeah, people do that with houses and shit now too. But at least with like a house, I guess it kind of makes sense. Like, what the fuck are you going to do with a shared <laughs> NES cartridge? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could go to the house like a couple days a year maybe. Yeah, it's like is there Yeah, exactly. Is everyone just going to have custody of this fucking cartridge <laughs> like you get to have it between like no, no one gives twice a month on weekends. <laughs> yeah and it's like also it's like if you like it's never appealing to the people that just want to play super mario brothers because like i doubt any kid's gonna play the nes version like us old fucks might yeah. jump in but we like fire up an emulator and that's it like fucking people from back then it's like you're not gonna like fucking buy a two million dollar car like you're not gonna play that cartridge for two million you're not gonna like reduce its quality it's gonna sit somewhere in like a shell for like some case for like the rest of eternity and i'm like dude this is not like the right investment to do it. And I think now, considering like how you're looking at NFTs and like crypto, this is where you're going to start to see like YouTubers who are like, they're going to accelerate their like path to like having no money. Cause like in, in the world of professional athletes, like a shit ton of them, they make a crap ton of money all burned like in a couple of years. But you're mm-hmm. going to have the same with YouTubers. They're going to be like, oh shit, we made a lot of money one year. I bought some monkey NFTs one year and then now I'm fucking back on the street sucking dick for nickels the next year. So it is what it is. Yeah, that's crazy. But, I know so many people too who are just like, I just feel, I feel like they don't live in the same reality as I do. You know, the, all the, the NFT stuff. I know so many dudes who have reached out to me and be like, we have a pretty interesting opportunity uh, in the, like people that I genuinely respect who have like gotten me business deals are like, there's a pretty good NFT deal. It's kind of the cutting edge of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I know about NFTs. I, I don't, I don't want to do it. I, I really don't want any yeah. an NFT. Unless you want to do an NFT literally of my asshole, I'll do that. You know, 
or my fucking nutsack. I'll recreate the fucking King Kong yeah. balls. I'll do yeah. that. The other day I was like reading, and so like who the fuck was Lincoln Park? Like Mike Shinoda, mm-hmm. I think he was like the oh, rapper yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the tweets. So I didn't even. I didn't, dude, this is the thing with NFT and crypto shit. It like completely like dehumanizes you. Like nobody recognizes who the fuck you are when you start doing it. Mm-hmm. So like this guy's like, uh, wouldn't NFTs be cool if you could like take your one skin from Valorant and <laughs> throw it on like Rainbow Six? Oh my yep. god! And, like so, EA, like, EA and Epic Games are gonna be like, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. share. <laughs> Let me put the Master <laughs> like, Chief in I, Fortnite. Oh, they already did that. Never mind. Uh, you know what I mean? So I didn't know. I didn't know it was Mike Shinoda the whole time. So I was like, oh, this guy's like just making some dumb take. And as a programmer, I'm like, oh, like this is my expertise. I know what the fuck's going on. So I'm like, this is wrong. You can't like feasibly do this. And when I like ratioed this guy, like I was just like this fucking dipshit. I look at the name, I'm like, oh fuck, that's a guy from Lincoln Park. Oh, dude, no, this guy fell for the fucking Kool Aid. <laughs> Uh oh no! No, it's it's because it's a pyramid scheme. You have to validate that you fell for it by getting four other dumb fucks to fall for yeah. it. Too. That's the whole. That's the cycle. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like exactly what Schlatt said. It's like good luck trying to get Epic and like Activision yeah, to like right. consider working with each other. They're just not yeah, like all these all these videos you see of like the perfect world. Yeah, like all the these like. Do you guys remember that that uh, old school YouTube video called Hyper Reality? Mm-hmm. Where it was like this, this like mm, yeah. AR yeah. thing, and there were like ads everywhere and all these yeah, bright yeah. fucking colors. Like that is not gonna be. This isn't just gonna be some decentralized market thing. Like I, I you just can't see Meta. Meta isn't gonna be like, oh yeah, let's let's just let other people have their way with this. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, yeah, it's like, it's like I tell people this too. When the Meta shit happened, it's like that's why he bought that Oculus stuff, right? Like that's that's why mm. he bought the whole company because it's like. I tell people, I'm like, the reason why that Oculus device is so cheap right now, like in comparison to like Valve stuff, right, is because he's losing money on it, obviously. But it's also because if you can get like the leading market share in virtual reality and be the guy running Metaverse, he's not going to open it up. He's going to make sure you buy the Oculus stuff to join Mm -hmm. Meta. And there's a there's a weirdness to it, too, right? Like, people get really excited about the metaverse. Like, I had one guy. Ice Poseidon was the one guy that called me in the middle of the night one time. And he told me, it's like, yeah, it's a lot of money in, like, virtual real estate. And, like, immediately in my head, I'm like, virtual fucking real estate? What do you mean? Like, cause apparently, the way that people have perceived it, you can buy mansions on virtual land. And then the in the virtual mansion... All right, you can stick your virtual NFT like <laughs> oh paintings yeah, on the course, fucking. Yeah. And then people can go to your mansion. Yeah, and it's like people hype it up as this new thing, and I'm like, dude, maybe maybe we like are Mandela affecting ourselves or some shit. I don't know if that's the right term because I remember shit like Second Life. I remember shit like There.com. Yeah. I remember Habo. I remember all this shit. Like metaverses have existed. What we're seeing now is no different than anything else (laughs) i see so many of these like so many of these concepts for the new reality that we're all going to be in and none of them are places that i want to yeah i agree completely that's like i've said this before on the podcast if the metaverse becomes a thing that everyone's doing i will do it as long as i can just do shit that i'm not allowed to do in real life like sex cult you know (laughs) crime (laughs) like if i shit like like, that if i could run a crack exactly A in virtual metaverse? crack. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'll buy fucking a few thousand acres. I tell the story all the time. I tell, I've told the story so many times on, on a bunch of different podcasts. But a couple months ago, someone who I work very closely with, who I really respect, I'm not going to say who it is, but they said to me with a straight yeah, face, sh- <laughs> they sent me with a straight face, <laughs> Schlatt, in, in, in 10 years, no one's going to care about the Mercedes you have. They're going to care about the Mercedes NFT oh. that you have, oh. that you drive in the metaverse. See, that's what I mean. That's oh. the people I'm talking about, dude. Uh. Oh. What? Yeah, let me let me, yeah, it, it, let me me put on my fucking headset, <laughs> sit in a dark corner like this, <laughs> and then pretend to drive my Mercedes Benz. Maybe, maybe if it's like what Elon Musk said in that viral TikTok in, uh, inspirational video clip that I saw with oh, epic fuck fucking you. music, Inception music. <laughs> He's like, eventually, uh, video games will be indistinguishable from reality. That would be good, you know? He made that TikTok. Yeah, he too. personally like, did he that. Yeah, him and Grimes. That Do you see the Walmart uh, metaverse? Yeah, I saw it. 
Why is it always got to do with shopping? Because <laughs> that's what it's all about. Why I, it, like, why is that the future? Immediately, I was gonna sit there and be like, "Wow, this is so much more like easier than using a web browser." Like, I was an old man there, but I'm like, yeah, I would actually fucking love the Walmart metaverse. I see so much fucking wild shit in my Walmart. Like, when you live in a mountain town, bro. When you live when when you live up in the fucking mountains and there's like one Walmart for the whole fucking city. Every ca- it's like an entire cast of fucking friends up in that bitch. Like everyone, fu- I have seen motherfuckers fight over Dr. <laughs> Pepper at the Walmart. <laughs> motherfucking shit, Dr. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. They got to program in. They got to program in like yeah. those uh, obscenely fat people that just walk around with their <laughs> out at the fucking Walmart. Yeah. Little rascals. No, I, like I've seen, <laughs> I've like seen... fifteen year old kid in a stroller. I've seen people fucking get into like straight up like fucking bar Same fights dude. in the express lane. Yeah, I would love to see that in the metaverse. I've seen, I've seen. So like, I had this thing, obviously this long pistol, right? There's dudes, <laughs> oh, there's dudes, <laughs> there's literally guys. There's they make a holster for this, right? They make a holster for this. They make a holster. They make a holster for this, and there's fucking oh, yeah. people that will walk around in the Walmart with a fucking foot long holster oh on their on God, their dude. on their on their ass. Because uh, I live in Texas, oh, so it's God. obviously like you know. And I live in the cowboy part of yeah. Texas. You're in Austin, right? I'm in Austin, yeah. And I shop at the Target. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm I'm up in like Central Texas, like two hours north of San Antonio, mm-hmm. even. So like mm-hmm. really, really, really asshole kind of yeah. Texas. Uh, uh, we got uh, H-E-B and that's it. And and there's a Walmart, but... I love H-E-B, dude. That's the pride of the pride of Texas, bro. I'm scared to tell any... If I'm ever in, like, San Antonio or anywhere else, bro, I will refuse to tell people that I am from Austin. Yeah. Because it's the it's yeah. the one, too. It's, it's Texas, the one, bro. too. Because I'm wearing the fucking yep. Yankees hat, and they're like, wait. What hmm, the fuck? New <laughs> York is coming blood. to Austin. Let's just... Let's kill this person on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Lift that shirt up. You got a yellow belly, don't you? They talk about yellow belly or uh, uh, yuppies. I got called a yuppie. The yuppies, yeah. Because I'm from Virginia, so I like I'm a fucking. I can't. I can't I'm a yank. Wait. Why'd you move into the middle of nowhere then? I grew up here in this area, and I have a like a oh, factory gotcha. here where I exploit cheap labor. <laughs> not really. Not not what cheap we, labor, but what we call like we do have a fact. I do have a fact uh, like a manufacturing business i always thought about moving out to texas for a while i might like get a place in houston i'm going out to houston this weekend and everything just like you know for fun and shit and i was just well i'll be honest like i i was doing it for tax reasons okay <laughs> fucking chastise me all oh, i'm not gonna chastise you fucking no, stay tax man. high five you bro <laughs> but i don't think i could live in texas like i've always tried saying i'm like could i leave toronto and i'm like i tried doing it but i'm like i'm too east coast man i can't fucking move out to like the desert i can't move out to cali i can't do anything i have yeah. to like stay in my fucking like i get it's different like when you're from here like i'm sorry dude I, i'd rather be a goddamn yellow belly i guess as hard <laughs> as i can like i'm so used to it that. uh well are you into like urban areas like do you like the city do you enjoy no, having a of bunch of people okay so you're in the suburbs well i'm like i moved out to like i don't i don't know if i should say it, but like i moved out like across the lake so like you can see the city like skyline from mm-hmm. here like the toronto stuff so i'm like probably yeah. like an hour out of it but i lived in brooklyn for a while and uh, uh oh, nice. i no, i'm too busy no not nice. uh, not, no. <laughs> not nice people nice. are so mean oh yeah well well that's the thing like in new york people are they're rude but there's a saying that i that i love because i'm from the east coast too People on the West Coast, they're nice, but they're not kind. People on the East Coast or the West Coast, did I? Mm-hmm. I fucked it up. Never mind. Forget. We, we say Forget what's on. Saturday. We say what's on our mind here. Yeah, exactly. A lot. We're honest. It's fucking <laughs> cold, I bro. I don't like the West Coast yeah. either. I will say one thing. <laughs> Texas. I, I'm not sure about Austin because you guys are have like a general, like generally kind of higher temperature than from where I am. Uh, what, it, was it mm. extremely cold about a week and a half ago? Yeah, it's still cold right now, man. Comparatively speaking. It okay, was okay. Like, what's your definition? No, it, of was cold, cold, it was cold. It was cold. It was. Cold. It was, it was like, eighty degrees it was in the morning. It was eighty <laughs> fucking degrees in the morning. And then I got in my hot tub, and while I was in the hot tub, it was nine degrees, and the wind was blowing thirty miles an hour, and my fucking head was frozen. My head was it's like frozen. Eleven degrees. My head froze. Right now. Y'all motherfuckers I had to go inside because I was like, my body was going into a survival, like a survival thing, because my fucking head was frozen. It's pretty hot and humid over here because we got the fucking lake travis and shit it's 58 for you guys right now so it's fahrenheit that's it's cold. been pretty it's been pretty it's 48 chilly. here i mean Ryan. about a week ago we had uh we were almost below freezing mm-hmm. and you don't want to know like the entire state shuts down yeah yeah when yeah. You're, yeah when you're at yeah, that my pipes froze over years ago when like 
some snow landed <laughs> you guys were like god i used to love living up in new york and then you'd see like news articles of like these southern <laughs> states getting an inch of snow <laughs> and you see like photos of the highway everyone's going half a mile <laughs> per hour and there's one there's one like car way out there that's just somehow on yeah, fire dude, it's <laughs> awesome people just start dying ha like something that weirded me out when i was in new york there's a lot of flooding in new york and i didn't know that was a thing like uh, i was just there like a month ago and there was crate or longer there was crazy flooding yeah did you see the video of the people in like the subway stations fucking yeah. waiting through to to get to their subway yep i crazy, i man. drove oh, i was dude. driving that day actually <laughs> it was really bad oh jesus speaking of floods have you guys ever seen like so pakistan karachi like one of the biggest metropolises of the entire fucking planet like they have floods right like the crazy insane floods every year and I like saw one dude in like like in Karachi, like they were just on top of like a building, right? Like a four story building or some shit. And the entire like ground below them was just fucking covered in water. Yo, they were Jesus they were jumping Christ. off the building into the fucking water down there. Oh. That's how fucking crazy some of those motherfuckers That's are. They are built insane. differently. Yeah. They are built differently in Pakistan because they were Damn. jumping off a fourth story building, like diving in like fucking Olympic swimmers. Jeez. I saw one guy on the Karachi Expressway, like their fucking main highway. And he's just like laying like Baxter, like just floating around in the highway. It's just like a bunch of people <laughs> with like lazy <laughs> floating down. I'm like, shit, they do not give a fuck there. But yeah, no, New York floods. I know in Toronto, like fucking when like Texans were like shutting down because they got like an inch of snow. We were yeah. like, oh, wow, that's so fucking cool. We have frostbite warnings. The government straight up tells us you can't leave your hey, house for 30 minutes. To be like fair, to be fair, though, when it when it got cold last year, when everything shut down, it was like zero degrees for like a week, literally an entire week. And that does not happen in Texas. Y'all know something fucked up, bro? The night, the night that snow started is the night I flew in. Dude, I moved to Texas that week, too. Really? That's the week I got here. Oh I was so God. fucked. Dude, we brought, we the, brought, it we with brought us. the weather with us. Holy I swear shit. to God, we did. Hey, you guys we packed did. it up Fuck. with you. Shit. The, Texans, Texans that ate night, you guys. I woke up. My house was no power, yeah, no same, water. Dude, 35 nothing. degrees in my fucking room was, while I was, was sleeping. So kind fucked up. Fun, honestly, but, but, it, but the thing, you laugh at it, but yeah. like now, the thing is, like the state... The state really has nothing uh -uh. to to prevent it. Like, there's no salt trucks, no contingency no. whatsoever. The power grid shuts down. Our fucking yep. senator moves. Uh, he, he, <laughs> he goes, goes to Cuba. Mexico <laughs> and some shit. And you're just like, all right, we'll see you, dude. We have like the thought of winter, and there's already salt trucks out here just fucking yeah, clearing yeah. the way. Like, Where I moved to in Plano originally, uh, I moved again in like August. But when I first moved to Texas, when that exact thing happened. They were they were plowing the roads with a grading truck, which is like for gravel. They were like removing the top oh layer of the asphalt <laughs> with the fucking grading truck because that's all they had. And there's like all these like expressways what? and stuff up there, so it's like it's thick, dense city. And uh, you'd see people in trucks driving like fucking eighty miles an hour, and then you just see cars like fucking sp spun up and crash into walls and stuff. It was it was mm -hmm. uh, it was it was the yeah, wild west for a while absolutely no preparation for no. it and like when it happens once a decade why like why even mm -hmm. bother at that point i agree yeah who cares just let it happen you think when the metaverse hits like we'll actually end up going into the matrix boys i'll be honest like you think this is just like big ai's way of like is life a simulation <laughs> i dude i had this thought the other night don't don't even get me started like i watch so much sci-fi shit that it like fucks with my head so it's like the 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 thought of like the metaverse becoming so real i feel like at some point like if we're living inside there will there ever be like the day where like fucking human beings like actually become batteries and there's like no fucking world left anymore we're all sitting inside meta all right with perfect weather and like mark zuckerberg's asshole in our face the entire time <laughs> what if we already are bro put Computer that in your pipe yeah. and smoke it I mean, like, if we live in a fucking computer simulation, it is in fact the most boring computer. Yeah, it fucking, fucking sucks. Simulation. Dying shit. What kind of a sick? What kind <laughs> I got of a COVID right now, bro. For the program. second fucking time, this shit yeah. sucks. Like, imagine running that simulation. It's like, how do we fuck with the AI a little bit? Oh, just throw in the pandemic, <laughs> pandemic. fucking program. Make fuck them feel you. bad once every six they months. Could, they could have done. They could have done something cool. Like, fuck, that's why. Like, if you have Bigfoot, imagine like some dudes like, oh, quick, grab that file and just give them like big fucking feet and like super strength and like just drop them in a forest somewhere. Like, I feel like if that's the kind of computer simulation we live with, I can vibe with it. But if it's just boring, like, fuck you guys, give us all like flying god mode. Yeah, I feel like if shit. it was a simulation, you would have more stuff like that. Like, you'd have like proof of bigfoot and then every now and then bigfoot would just 
just he'd spawn. Yeah, <laughs> he'd fuck somebody <laughs> yeah. or something. You know, just like something a little fun. airdrop in PUBG. Like, <laughs> yeah, he just yeah, comes like, by every yeah. now and then. See Bigfoot or like boss music would start playing. If it was at that point where like there was actual cool shit and you couldn't tell, would you? Would you stay up there like past death? Like if you just boot your mind up there and like you could still live like that video game Soma and just be up there until maybe then you want to hit the kill switch like a hundred years later, you're just living in paradise and you're like, all right, I want to see what death is like. Boop. Yeah. You know, that's actually an end of the world scenario too. So if you guys didn't know this, apparently like if human beings discover how to upload their consciousness, right? Like in a few generations, we wouldn't be like physically like alive anymore. Cause like we'd all just like upload our brains yeah. and we'd be like AIs mm -hmm. and shit, like the geth from mass effect. So the whole theory is like once we become like one hive mind, we'll be able to like travel to stars and see every single thing the universe has to offer in such a record amount of time. It would never be possible if we were just like actual in our physical form. Mm. And like once we see literally everything and everything the world or the universe has to offer, we would all collectively just think to ourselves we're fucking bored and like shut ourselves down like mass suicide like over. That's like a legit end of the world fucking scenario hmm. that has been like theorized. By who? It's like the other thing. It's like, like, I, I feel like that's a more realistic thing. But like speaking of the whole death and consciousness shit. So you guys watch that show Altered Carbon? Dude, I love, I was no. just about to bring that up. I fucking love that show. It's so good. Anybody that hasn't watched Wait, it, the whole it idea is like. Altered Carbon. Altered Carbon. It's canceled now because yeah. Netflix is like, we'll just release another narco fucking season for some reason. But like. <laughs> But like, but like the show's so sick is like basically human beings are born, right? And like they put a disc into our like heads, which like records every single thing that we experience, right? Like it's all our consciousness on like one little disc. And so when we die, they take the disc out and they put it into another like sleeve yeah. is what they call it, like a body. And we wake up and it's like, oh shit, okay, I'm back alive and doing my thing. So it's like, you obviously you die, right? Like you, you have to die like biologically. So it's like, how the fuck do you decipher if somebody's actually alive? Is that person really alive if they switch into a disc? I don't know. Well, I think a lot of this is also just going to be semantic differences, right? Like, yeah, because is consciousness the same as life? If I if I died to yesterday, okay, like physically, yes, we would make like, NFTs if you don't worry. Yes, absolutely. Thank fucking God for that. <laughs> Muda punks. Would you just stand, a, stand lean my them. ass up, you know? oh, man. Stand lean my ass up and fucking make some NFTs. <laughs> absolutely drop them fucking nfts i don't if, if i do ever die or something please don't fucking make them. i'm not giving the royalty free i'll shit have right tara there. edit that part out she'll leave the first part in yeah <laughs> <laughs> she'll take out my dying yeah. fucking will fuck you but like if i die and like tomorrow it's like oh shit guys i was in a bad car accident they took my little disc out and put it into another clone of me would i still be the same person i don't know but I will tell you this, Muda. One of the NFTs will have a car, a pixelated car wreck in the back. True, a burning, a burning oh, car, yes, a burning true. wreckage. No, they'll they'll take they'll take a picture of the mangled corpse from my original body and sell that as the NFT. Muda, Muda dash mangled, Muda dash wreckage. Yeah, yeah, Muda. Or, yeah, it'll be like a mangled original yeah. like body. So the whole one. How many? <laughs> eat? Someone who mints, someone mints twenty yeah. of them. He's like, oh shit, I got the mangled. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I fucking I got I got the rarest one. I, I got, got the one that's not I even got here. Like five percent mangled mood. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's gonna be like the thing. It's like my clones are gonna have like some slight physical differences from my body. So it's kind of like they're, they're gonna be like, I don't want the new one. We don't we don't want classic fucking coke at this point. We don't want like that new shit. Get out of here. But like that's the thing. There's no way to discern it. It's like watching Star Trek. I can't watch Star Trek. Like I have like family that fucking loves that show. And, like, I get into heated discussions around the fucking TV. I'm like, you know they're dying every episode. Every time they fucking teleport, you're dead. Yeah. Because it's like, I have to explain. I'm like, yo, they jump in. It's like, oh, their atoms, like, delete yeah. themselves and download somewhere else. I'm like, yeah, motherfucker walked in and, like, literally was split apart. They are dead. It's like, no, but there's, I'm like, they're not the same person. It's a fucking clone, dude. What the fuck? Well, who's, <laughs> like, why, why is a clone not the same person, though? Like, <laughs> Who cares? Because What's the value of living if it's just your consciousness? Then there's a there's a I don't know if you guys remember this corridor digital show from way back when called Sync. Some dude actually made a Minecraft mod about it too. Uh, but basically, um, so it, it's like a shell. Your your mind is up in the cloud, right? And they and there's this company that you know sends you down to different shells that they have of your body. And then you just inhabit that, and then that's you. And then when it's time to go, uh-oh, you're going back up to the cloud. But 
at the end of the show, there's like two different versions of him. One that is current and then one from like a, an old save from like three hours ago. And then it becomes this thing of like, wait, who's the real fucking one? What, what's going on here? This is like the plot of the first season of Altered Carbon. Really? There's like yeah. one guy who, like, yeah. who keeps getting killed and like his, uh, he keeps like having to go into his backup save. Most people are too poor to afford having backups of their chip. Right. So all your rich oh, folks, cool. you know, it's just, yeah, Jeff Bezos types. The disenfranchised pretending that they can live forever. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> god damn it no but that that show like if anything i want to make out of it before we have to tie things off because we're pretty fucking far in is uh netflix please god stop making shitty fucking narcos yeah, just, just arc, oh, it's so good the first season is like solid tv oh first season first yeah. season's fucking am- dude can can twitch streamers just react to that yeah, show like canceled. make it fucking popular again like just yeah like fuck take the dmca from get sued by netflix okay just fucking that's a good show re- redo that show at netflix on twitter and then they'll respond and be like yeah man there's just, a lot of dicks and balls in it though oh there's dicks and balls in lots. it. lots like wes oh, anderson and- full frontal oh <laughs> Maybe I'll watch them. Well, I, Maybe I'll watch. buy a Netflix subscription. Oh, there's like this one Netflix show. It's another. It's another narco show. It's about like El Chapo. I swear to God, it has the most like gay scenes I've ever seen in a show. Like every episode, there's like a solid five minute like softcore gay porn scene. Did you guys ever see time. Spartacus? Like from a long time ago, yeah. ten Spartacus, years ago. No, Spartacus was a yeah, show. I bet that has oh, more bro, gay bro. scenes. No, no doubt. So my 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 parents are you know old school people right they're from the fucking woods okay so they're like legit my dad is literally a to a T redneck that's a slur by the way but go ahead yeah we'll, we'll bleep the R word yeah. the other R word redneck he's a yeah the other he's a the other he's a uh, a fucking cracker he's right a, he's an ice chip yeah. is what they call he's it he's a mayo monkey he's got um he has like a, a safe with two like a two hundred gun safe so like a massive fucking safe like that's how and uh. <laughs> When when he was watching the show, he's like, "This fucking show is awesome, son!" And uh, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch this fucking show. And then the first scene is just like extremely gay. And I was like, "Interesting, Dad. This is pretty. You know, I didn't realize you were so. No, you just, yeah. I like, skipped that part. <laughs> no, no, don't watch that part, son. Don't watch that part. I didn't watch that. I didn't like that part. I meant the fighting scene." <laughs> I'm at, the, I'm, at, I'm at the part three seasons in when they stop having good yeah. sex. There's a, there's a woman's breast in episode eight for three and a half seconds right after two men violently f- each other. And no joke, he used, to, he used to watch that, like those types of shows that just always had so many gay s***. You know? <laughs> so. Uh, you, were, you were like, Dad, it's okay. I'm not going to judge you. I'm already here. No big deal. Through his entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I would always fucking just roast him about it, though. Oh, man. If my, if my dad ever sent me a show where it just started off with the most oh, yeah. filthiest scene, I would never let him go. Oh, no. Be like, yeah, I don't. Ma, you won't believe I, what Dad sent me. <laughs> you went to Absolutely. The- <laughs> He's also, he'll also be eating soup while he watches these fucking shows. And he makes soup. And then makes more soup, combines the old soup with the new soup. What? Dude, <laughs> it's crazy. Per- the perpetual stew. Yeah, the, 45 the perpetual years stew. <laughs> exactly. It's like a, like a sourdough starter, how it's like you can have one from You're the right. 1800s. Because you leave the little yeast ball yes. for like 4 yep, billion yep, yep. years. Yes, now. exactly. It's like motherfuckers that make their own vinegar. They just have like the actual like combining agent. They just take it out, put it somewhere his, else. His rule is if you add noodles, it's new. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's, that's his rule. I don't know, man. I don't think your dad would fly fly by with an empty. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Spectrum, his other rule is know. that if the balls don't touch, <laughs> that's not gay, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah, hey, bro. yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, and also many times he's uh, had to like stand up to throw up while he's got diarrhea too. So, <laughs> which is incredible. It's like the weirdest thing. Like my family friend once they bought like this is when the iPhone was new and I was a younger kid, so they didn't know that like you could clear the search history on the YouTube app. So I'm like, I open up the YouTube app on my family friend's phone, and they're like super conservative and shit, you know. So I like open up their little YouTube app. The history thing is oh. like right there. Fucking the wildest oh, yeah, search results yep. I've ever seen. Like fucking, they're like 
eight people at one. I'm like, damn, dude, this motherfucker is wild. This guy gets free. GTA 5, 9 I, 11. <laughs> I know. I, I asked him, like, I asked him, like, what's all this? And he's like, oh, no, my buddy had my phone. That's my not brother. Mine. Like, that's so, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Somebody else is using Goes to it. Different it. School. Give me that for a minute. He just starts, like, trying to figure out how to delete that shit on me. I'm like, we know. We know what you're into. We know what you're watching. Get out of here. That's funny. Old people are the best, too. Like, my dad, one time, speaking to my dad again, he asked how to clear the tabs. Uh, on like his phone or whatever and like almost half of it was just porn <laughs> was no 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 porn? no oh. but not necessarily stuff i would watch so. <laughs> needless to say See, my like, dad's for off. me it's like fucking if you if you like for me it's like i don't even wipe the history i don't even use incognito mode it's like if you check my phone and it's like you were on that yeah. website i'm like yeah no shit what the fuck why do you think i bought a phone with a bigger screen in it motherfucker? <laughs> yeah exactly like, <laughs> my viewing pleasure what? you have to what? flip yeah oh shit. yeah yeah i got those <laughs> XL. Wait, you can watch two at once four by three yeah dude, absolutely i could like split i could split one video on this side and the other on that one it's like when Sam, like they have a little tip sap, it's like how to use the fold properly. I'm like, oh baby, I'm gonna split up the video. Trust me, I know, I know what you want me to do. Get out of here, Sammy. I know, I know what's up. Ooh, but speaking of it, we are like an hour forty minutes in, so we gotta like save Tara the fucking stress Man. of censoring out all the gay porn. Yeah, stories. should be right. We went off everywhere, but Nux, since you introduced us, you got to tie it off, my friend. This is your... Uh, sure, yo, your uh, frick. Schlatt, you don't have an outro, so I can't copy it. I'm sorry. You just kind of end. It just ends. <laughs> it does just kind of end. It just kind of ends. It's it's the, it's the meta, Whoa. by the way. You know, a lot of people have been telling me I have to stop doing outros because, like... Oh, yeah, the retention. Yeah, higher. the retention goes down. Yeah. 1%. I know. And people are optimizing this stuff. It's crazy. Well, guys, I appreciate you having me on. This is a great time. Oh, we love you. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Hell yeah. No. So you yeah, can find every, him on Twitter. He's not verified, so you'd have to scroll through like many fake slides until you find the real yeah. slide. Yeah. Dude, uh, I, can I so go for sad. like a minute longer? Can yes. I talk for like a minute longer? Go for I got on the fucking phone with someone who's like a social media expert, and they're like, here's what you got to do, bro. If you go to my Twitter right now, it is the most like sanitized thing you'll ever see the bio is so corporate every channel every little account links to another my youtube account the description says this is the official account for twitter user at j schlatt and i submitted it <laughs> and it's still within a minute bro they still are shutting me down i i've actually figured out the meta for Same. getting um verified yeah, on twitter it's pretty great well. uh, i actually i told omni and fifi and um there's this uh voice actor named um kaggy so i told all of them all you have to do is tweet at twitter hey i just submitted for verification we need more women slash black people slash hispanic people on this platform and they all get verified within minutes of that what if you're white though (laughs) yeah and a guy that's the problem and like Make 20 i don't know if i could shit do up that, be man. like i'm yeah. just just be like i'm from like some nordic background that's like fucking oppressive. <laughs> I so barely like speak English. Like yeah just be like you're from like lithuania or some shit they'll be like oh we need more lithuanian people on this platform absolutely <laughs> ironically though one of the first things i did uh when i got verified was i tweeted at you because i was like i feel like so did i i, I feel like he might thing. he oh, might follow yourself. me back wait oh, yeah my God. fuck you man yeah, you did that. <laughs> fuck you. i got Honestly, i got i had Dude, I got verified a while ago. I was like one of the first people to get the check. And then uh, I t- the the day it happened was also election night. And I tweeted that mm-hmm. I had won the election and that I was now the acting president of the United States. Yeah, that's a Which no-go. I guess they didn't like. I guess you're not supposed to say that as a verified account. So then they took it away the next day. Huh. One day. That's my record. One day. And I think it, I think I'm just blacklisted now. Yeah, you got it. I don't think they're ever gonna give it to me. I'll unverify myself too. No way. I'll join the I'll join the <laughs> cool kids club. <laughs> yeah, they they took me a while to verify me. They were just like, we don't know who you are. And then like, I think all I did was just like I put my channel name in the bio, and they're like, oh fuck, of course it's got to be him now. He did that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So whenever I applied as my channel, I got rejected. I uh, I applied as a brand like i linked my website like nuxtaku.com oh wow and they're like oh wow i just searched yeah, my go. name and in the and then click the news tab on google and <laughs> the then just news, chose all the, the all the articles uh the india times wrote an article uh about the oh, youtube go. um the youtube rewind thing and i made a comment on it and then they i just like fucking roasted it like kind of lightly and then they put my twitter in the article 
And that's why I got yep. verified. Thank you, India. Bro, I'm, I'm in the New York fucking Times. <laughs> I'm in the New York Times uh, under, a, under an article for like comfort streamers. And, and I'm still not getting in. Well, thank you guys so much for having me. This is a, this is a great fucking time. Yeah, Kelly, no, thanks for joining. And Absolutely. This, this, these have been my hosts, Muda and Umpi, absolute legends. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. And we are out. <laughs>